Hey everybody, it's Sugar Connor. Welcome back for more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we went to the Great Tree and found that it was locked up despite the door looking wide open from over here. In this episode, we're going to hopefully find Madame Flurry to help us get into the Great Tree like Punio told us we were going to need to. Come here. Sid, come here. Ah. Alright, here we have the introduction of the Dark Puff. Any of you who played Paper Mario 1 probably know the Dark Puff. Whatever. Uh, the Dark Puff can be either high or low, depending on if you hit by ground attacks, whatever. It can electrify itself. Yeah, any of you who played up to Chapter 6 in the first Paper Mario basically know this enemy already. Alright. Sweet, and our SP is full. Let's keep going! So let's get going. As you can see, if we go up here, this airplane panel is very low. Let's see if I can make it. I'm very good at flying. Can I make it, guys? Can I make it? 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 Not likely. So what we're going to need to do is go through here and not get interrupted. Um, anyway, what we're going to need to do is go through here. Just go up. Go back here. And five minutes later, there's a switch here. And as you can see right there, very obviously there's a star piece. I don't even know why they bothered trying to hide it behind a transparent object, but whatever. We got the star piece. Okay. So now we go through that pipe or stump or tree or whatever the frick you want to call it. Just go through that, and now it is high enough for us to go through, though, but before going through, you're going to want to use Koops to hit that Shine Sprite, and boom, there is a Shine Sprite. Alright, and just so you know, that is the only Shine Sprite in this part of Boggly Woods. Until we get into the Great Tree, you won't have to worry about any more Shine Sprites. Just letting you know. Oh my god, I hit an invisible wall and it broke my form! What is this, Sonic 2006? Alright, we got Quick Hammer that... Um, it says that it hits all enemies on the ground, though, but it also can hit enemies that are uh, grabbed onto the ceiling. So that'll kind of be good to remember for later, just like it does in the first one. Alright, nothing. Star piece! That is what we need to do. Star piece, right there. Anyway, just keep going through here. Look, there in the distance! That's what I was telling you about! Blurry's place! Aw, uh, you remembered her. Just go ahead and heal. Go through here, paper flat. I think. Yep, vault's room right there. Uh, vault's room, same effect as the first game. I'm just gonna throw that in coupon because I don't need it. Vault's room just electrifies you. Any enemies that touch you are hurt by it, but I don't think the dark pu dark puffs are hurt by because they're electrical-based enemies. Um, there is another star piece right here behind that fence. All right, let's go through the pipe. There's sure a lot of secrets in there. Geez, like two star pieces in a vault room. God. And yet, inexplicably, our partners have disappeared once again. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. That's really quality game design right there. Uh, excuse me. Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went out for a walk in the woods. No, she hasn't. Don't fall for that. A lot of people seem to get lost on that. I don't know. Maybe you didn't, though, but I know some people who do. Like, they go out into the woods, and they're like, Oh my god, where is she? Adam Flurry, hello! If you're in here, say something! Eek! No! Out of the question! You mustn't come in here! What, is she naked? Uh, Madame Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dears. There's something you need. Oh, God. Uh, never mind. Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem only you can help us with, ma'am. The Great Tree's entry hole is blocked. Your mom's entry hole is blocked. There's a stupid door we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, they, so they're in a pickle, and Mario needs the crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you can't find the secret entrance for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dear? You came all the way here just for that? Yeah, we went a whole two screens just for that. My adorable little punio. You know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm a bit in it by myself. I just cannot come out. Yeah, what's wrong? It's somewhat embarrassing. I've never gone out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it Now my daily constitutional. I simply, I'll be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it. So I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. 
Gee whiz, that must be some nice necklace, huh? Hang on. You know what? It's weird. I'm sure I heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke. Yeah, the downer. Yes, okay, we'll help you find your necklace. Yes, we can find your necklace. Yeah, and word is he's super. Super Mario! I right, sure no. Yeah, we'll find it for you. Come on. Yeah, fine. Aw, oh, we can't, still can't go in the door. I swear to God, what, is she like, is she like completely naked without her necklace or something? I swear to God, what's wrong with going out without a necklace? I don't know. I will never understand women. Elsa, I told you, blaming me for losing the sketch, and you had it. Silence, you twitch! Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details! We must study this sketch! Go, go! Well, like five seconds to be like, Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly! Check out that bushy mustache, how handsome! You know something, though? My lovelies, I swear I've seen this gentleman before! Ah! He's Mr. Mustache! Go, go! Ah, I don't believe this! Vivian! This is without it all your fault! I'll be dealing with some strict punishment later, my dear. Oh, yes, I promise you that! What? That's not fair! You're the one who had this! Silence, you squirrel brain! Don't you confidence in the entity with me! This is not fair. Never that necklace. I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. Aww. And since we caused this problem, you'll have to figure out how to find this Mario jump. Oh god. Oh joy. Uh, so we're gonna have to go back in to Belda, Marilyn, and Vivian to get that necklace. So I will meet you guys there. Okay, and we're back. Now all we need to do is just go over here, and there we go. Well, if it isn't Mario! Shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us! <laughs> and you know why? Because we were waiting for you! Uh -huh. I remember they're the ones with... Hey, wait a second. What do you mean you've been waiting for Mario? That sounds suspicious. Suspicious, suspicious. <laughs> I have no quarrel with you, but I simply cannot allow you to hunt for the crystal stars! And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Whoa, whoa, scary lady. How do you know about the map and the crystals? Have you talked to Princess Peach or something? Hey, now that I think about it, who are you anyway? Wee! Those who say our names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are? The three! Holy crap, Marilyn spoke. Shadow Beauties! Three Shadow Beauties? <laughs> Vivian, you need to poop! What are you babbling about? The Shadow Sirens! I didn't say three beauties, I see two, but then there's you and your Pokali! But what's Marilyn? Oh, whatever. Aw, oh, she's sorry. She got confused. Aw. Who does like being punished? Alright. <laughs> the ugly. Alright. It's time for. Okay. Alright, time to fight the Shadow Sirens. Let's do this. Alright, now here's what I recommend doing. Go ahead. Alright, whatever. Okay, now here's what I recommend doing. You're gonna want to focus your attacks on Marilyn, but with Koops, that's not exactly an easy task. So what I use if you've upgraded Goombella, that she's actually very useful in this fight considering she has multi bong, which is basically like power bounce. Uh, just that she can use instead of Mario. So what I recommend doing is starting up with Earth Tremor, because they'll all get hit by it. It's really good to have this, though. Um, Beldum is probably going to be the least of your worries. Beldum attacks with ice, Marilyn attacks with lightning, and Vivian attacks with fire. Uh, Marilyn is the biggest worry, though, because not only does she have the most HP, though, but she can also charge up her attacks. Alright, there we go. That's perfect action command. Marilyn has the ability to charge up her attacks. Beldum also can cast spells on Marilyn to power her up. So, definitely a good idea to try taking out Marilyn while you still can. Oh, it's up to you! Alright, we already took out Beldum on the first turn. <laughs> That's another good reason to have Koops out. Uh, Vivian can't even hurt him. And damage dodge does its job. Not bad. Um, I'll just go ahead and jump on Marilyn and then have Koops fall over the power shell and they will be out. Gone. Do it! Uh, I failed the action command, but that doesn't matter. Go! Vivian doesn't even say anything, which guys, wow. Not bad, that was a very short fight. <laughs> Ugh. 
They were just a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps, we're gonna want of you two pulled your weight. I'd really hate to be Marilyn pulling my own weight. And they dropped the necklace. All right, we got the necklace. I think that does it for this episode, all right? So, um, next time Paper Mario 2, I'll meet you guys over by Flurry's house, and we will return the necklace to her. See you guys then.